right across the way to one of the rivals. Like it, I feel like this is the most hateful division in in all it of is. the NFL. Like they yeah, they all really, hate it really each other. Is. Uh, yeah, that would be we all hate each other, except for <laughs> yes. the poor Bengals. Who hates the Bengals? It's like, uh, come on! I, don't, I, don't I haven't hate hated the Bengals, Bengals since Boomer Esiason in like '91 or something like that. That's a, when when Burfick was playing for him. At everybody hated him, but well, uh, that's well, true. Yeah, Burfick, that was a yeah. different scenario, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. So the that's ball- true. and it actually turns out he did the right thing, hitting that piece of crap Antonio Brown a few times. He actually deserved <laughs> it, so it was kind of a nice thing that it happened to him. You know, God. couldn't have happened to a worse guy. So there you go. The Baltimore Ravens went 11 and five last year. In Lamar Jackson's third season, uh, they needed wide receiver help, edge help, offensive tackle, and safety help. And what they ended up rolling with, uh, I, I, I typically always like Baltimore's drafts, and and I do again this year. Like they always seem to pick the right guy at the right spot. First round wide receiver Rashad Bateman out of Minnesota, and then of course they traded Orlando Brown Jr. to the Chiefs, and were able to pick up. Another first rounder. They get Odafe Owe out of Penn State. Edge rusher, guard Ben Cleveland in the third round out of Georgia. Cornerback Brandon Stevens out of SMU in the third round. Round four, another wide receiver, Tylen Wallace, who the season before, Man. if you had told me that he was going to go fourth round, I would have said you were That's nuts. Right. I mean, he is an he, absolute this, stud. This is just what happens in this draft because the wide receivers were just so rich. Just so yeah. rich. Then you also have yeah. in fifth in the fifth round, a cornerback Sean Wade out of Ohio State. He is a guy that was projected first or second round until he played out of position for the entire 2020 season when they moved him to the outside and had him man up on guys. He is... He's an inside defensive back. That's what yep. he's always been. Right. So, uh, right. But you get him in the fifth round now. You get edge rusher Dalen Hayes out of Notre Dame. And then you get tight end Ben Mason out of Michigan. Uh, all three of those last ones in the fifth round. I freaking love this draft. Like, the Baltimore, every year, it feels like they are the smartest team on the block when it comes to the draft and how to get value for those picks. And they, they hit this one out of the park, I think. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job. Now, the one concern is who's going to replace Orlando Brown. I, I'm not exactly sure there. The good news for them is, I mean, what is it going to be? Uh, did, didn't they draft a kid, Tyree Phillips or something like that? Maybe it's him. So they they, they missed that. You have two first-round picks late in the first round. Get yourself a tackle. Get yourself somebody. Now, the good news is you have Lamar Jackson, who even if you aren't blocking, he's going to outrun every single player on the defense. So they probably feel like, you know, uh, we, we have a little bit of leeway here. I feel bad for the wide receivers. I think they're great players. I like who they picked. I feel bad for them because Lamar Jackson's not going to be throwing them the ball properly. So they're going to have really low numbers. You know, you're probably going to see 35 or 40 catches out of these guys and, you know, 412 yards and three touchdowns. And they probably their second contract's not going to look beautiful because they have a guy who's electric, fun to watch, uh, love everything about Lamar Jackson except for the fact that he cannot throw a pass. He can't. <laughs> He does no touch or finesse on the ball whatsoever. Um, it's just hard to watch. I mean, you, you saw it with them last year. You, you have a guy like Brady. When they're blitzing the crap and taking those run lanes away from Lamar Jackson, he can't adjust and read on the opposite side of the field and put the ball where it needs to go. That's just not the type of player he is. So even though I love these wide receivers, everything I see about Bateman makes me think he's an absolute stud. Tylen Wallace as well. I just wonder how utilized are they actually going to be because, uh, again, we're talking about a run first, run second, run third offense, and maybe you get the occasional pass to Mark Andrews. Uh, I like the Ben Cleveland pick. They obviously needed to bolster that line. Of course, we know what they do with linebackers, so always probably going to have this massive career because that's what Baltimore does. They turn them into studs. Overall, good players. I like the draft. Wish they would have addressed that offensive tackle situation. It will be interesting to see there. And overall, I just feel bad for the wide receivers. That's how I came out feeling uh, from this draft. (laughs) I can't, I can't, we just can't disagree even more. Like, I, I love Lamar. I think Lamar can throw. Uh, name a receiver that's been worth a shit in that offense that's come over that's there. Fair. Hollywood Brown has been a bust. He's just not great. I don't uh, he's think he's a number one guy. Quality talent. Like, I, I, think, what? I, I don't think he's a number one guy. I think I think he can't well, be okay, useful. But, uh, they, hang but, on. If you're not a number one guy, you can't be a first-round draft pick wide receiver if you're not a number one guy. If you're right. going to be Julian Edelman, Julian Edelman's coming the sixth and seventh round. Okay, Gary? Uh, that's not a, in the okay, first. Right. That's, right? that's a good point. So, that's a good point. So that's called bust. That that's called bust. All right. Uh, I I like Rashad Bateman. My problem is, and this isn't a problem. I just assume they like Bateman because of Bateman's size. Because I think yeah. there are two receivers that 
really three receivers that went behind him. Now they're all considerably smaller than him. Um, in in Elijah Moore, uh, Rondell Moore, and then Terrace Marshall. I like all better than than Bateman. But if they want a big receiver and not another small, fast guy like Hollywood, then it makes sense. And I think Lamar is going to look much better if Bateman can get open. All right. Yeah. So is Lamar the kind of guy that can throw the football through a keyhole? No, but he's not awful. His accuracy is not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. His receivers aren't getting open. Hell, they gave receiving snaps and passes to Des Bryant Des last Bryant. year. Yeah. Are we are we kidding ourselves to think this receiving core is worth a shit at all? They're not right. good. That is not on Lamar. The reason he dumps the ball off to his tight end is because that's the only guy that can catch the football. If Bateman's good... I think we're going to be fine. I think this offense is going to open up and we're going to see a different side of it. You can't make chicken salad with chicken shit. All right. He <laughs> runs the football because he has no one to throw the ball to. Well, he's got Sammy Watkins now. He's He's got well, Hollywood Sammy Brown. Sammy Watkins hasn't been good since the day he stepped on the field. Miles since Boykin. Time, he was the first receiver taken in that draft. That's the first time I ever said, bust. <laughs> bust, they made a mistake. Absolutely but, made yes. a mistake in that it's, draft. By the way, what you were talking about with Lamar uh, not being able to throw it through a keyhole, neither can Josh Allen. But it no, all changes when you got somebody like because Stephon Diggs. Guys that can get open. Yeah. yeah. And, got, I, and this yeah. is the reason that I would have liked a guy like Elijah Moore. I saw Elijah Moore track, do exactly what uh, uh, Stephon Diggs does. He tracks deep balls better than any receiver in the league uh, uh, Diggs does. Elijah Moore does the exact same thing. Throw the ball deep and he will go and get it. He will try. You don't have to throw it to him. He will find the football. He will track it down. He will catch it. This is what I liked about him. I do think they're a little gun shy and they want some size at the wide receiver position. That makes sense um, because they've got a first round pick in, in Hollywood and invested and it hasn't panned out. Um, I hope Bateman's good. I would like this offense to be fun because I like Lamar. I'm, I'm emotionally invested yeah. in Lamar. I think he's far better than people give him credit for. The best quarterback in the world, Tom Brady, last year had unbelievable numbers. Two years ago, his last year in, 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 in New England, his numbers were terrible. Look at his sure. receiving core at one place. Look at him in another. If yeah. you put Lamar on one of these better teams with a good receiver, I'm not asking for four or five, one good receiver. It totally changes everything. I, I do right. agree with that. By the way, Kyle, the, uh, the tackle position uh, it shored up a little bit by Alejandro Villanueva signing there. Yeah, they did, oh, they okay. did right. sign him from the Steelers. Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, he's he's not he's not uh, Orlando by any Orlando. means. No, no, not even close. So but everyone also, loves Andrew. He's going to be in plenty of commercials, and everyone loves oh, him, yes. and the fans will love him. So that's always a nice thing to add to your team, I suppose. It right. it most certainly is. And with that, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.